Yo, what's up guys? It's Corey from Bucket Up, and I've got five things that should be going through your mind before you hit that shutter button to up your photo game. You guys ready? Let's try this. We have a tendency to rush into shooting photos. We just want to get in there and get shooting. But if we slow down for just a few seconds and ask ourselves some fundamental questions about the shot we're going to take, we can make photos that are wildly more interesting to look at and share with the world. So when I pick up the camera and I look through the viewfinder, I ask myself these five questions. Now these five questions are vastly important to the way I look and approach photos. All right, so the first thing that runs through my mind when I pick up the camera is, is this even interesting? I tend to get all excited about uh, about a shot, and the second I pick up my camera and I look through it, it doesn't look interesting anymore. Why is that? It's because I have an expectation in my head, you have to think about why you are shooting. I mean, that seems very fundamental, of course, but the first thing you want to think of is, again, have I seen this before? Is this something that I want to share to everybody? Is this something that I'm going to care about? You want to get into the habit of stopping and thinking about what you want to shoot. It gives you that moment of a thought process to make that photo better. It's not just snapping a photo. It's not just taking a quick snapshot. It's getting into the mindset of looking at composition and looking at what is actually inside of your frame before you snap the shot. So that first, that first thing that runs through my mind is, is this even interesting? So the second thing that runs through my mind is focus. Now it's not just is this shot in focus or you know is is the lens focusing right. It's focusing the attention of the audience to something in the scene. When you take a photo, you want to focus attention down to uh, a single point so that somebody has a first priority to look at and then maybe a second or third priority. So for example, if you can find repeating lines or lines that draw your attention to something, try to use those to your advantage. And use use contrast to your advantage. Anything that's on a black background and it's a little white spot is going to definitely pop out from your photo. So your audience needs a place to look, so guide them. The question you should be asking yourself is what do I want to put in focus? That means, what do I want to draw their attention to? What do I want to get people to look at uh, initially as a hierarchy? You know, you have to think of everything like a hierarchy. You think of the first thing you want to, them to look at, then the second, then the third. And that first thing has to be that interesting thing. It's the thing that made you pick up the camera. Remember that first, that first question we asked is, does it look interesting? Well, whatever you decided, yes, it looks interesting, should bam, right there be in focus. Boom, you get clarity. So the third question that goes through my head is, does it tell a story? Intriguing photos always sort of have a story involved in them. You, you want to look at that photo and say, what is happening here? Why am I looking at this? Why is this so interesting? Even product photography has a story. By putting your subject in an environment where the environment helps add to the story and adds those little details to the story that give the audience an extra hint of what the feeling is of whatever the photo you're taking. The story of an old house, what elements are you looking at there? Are you looking at elements of peeling paint and, and floorboards coming up and dust? That's going to be completely different from a new house. You know, a new house is going to tell a different story. If you take photos of a new house, your new house is going to be clean paint and probably pristine countertops and, and brightly lit. All those things add to the story of what you should be feeling about the about the subject and about your photo. So, the thing that goes through my head is, what is the story I want to tell? Fourth thing that I think about is light. Now, you're saying that should be the first thing you think about. You're a photographer, you should always be thinking about light. Light's the main source of why photography even works. So light is very, very, very important. That's three variants, so it's really important. But again, it's adjustable. So, I typically start with one light if I need to light a scene, I'll, I'll start with one light and then add lights as I need it. So, treading on the three questions that we just talked about, 
Is it interesting? What's the focus? And uh, what's the story? How do we add to the story? Light helps with all three of those things. Light helps you focus down your subject so that you now can separate them from the background or, or highlight them in a scene. Um, it also helps you make it look interesting and also could add to the story. If you want drama, you could add light to create drama. So the fourth question you again you ask is, is there enough light? Is there too much light? Is there light that I can add? What about light? So the fifth thing that goes through my head right before I hit that shutter button is something that goes through professional photographers' heads and amateur photographers' heads and, and people who are just hobbyists and, and, and your head, because I'm sure you're thinking about the exact same thing right before you hit that shutter button. That, and that is, am I even a good photographer? Confidence is something that builds over time, but self-doubt never sort of goes away. You just have to sort of plow through it. So no matter how much self-doubt you have, there's somebody else out there who is twice as inspired by you actually doing it than you questioning yourself. So keep shooting, keep practicing, keep mastering the craft, keep asking yourself these questions, keep trying to make your photos more interesting to yourself first, and then everybody else will also come. So those are the five questions that go through my head before I take the shot to help me better my photo. So if you guys got anything else that goes through your head, comment down below and let's start a discussion on it. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Corey, see you next time.